when we analyze the scriptures and think of it spiritually, we can see the bigger picture and the greatness of the kingdom, how it's going to be. But we still just have a little inkling. We really don't have the fullness. Remember, Yahweh I said, it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom of heaven. So what do you think is going to come with the kingdom of heaven? Many benefits. So we have no clue or idea what the kingdom of heaven is going to be like. Specifically, we just have ideas. Some brothers have a better imagination than others. They may be able to draw certain things based off of what we read in scriptures. But to actually grasp the actual glory of it, it would be like the Apostle Paul trying to explain the spiritual realm. Where he said it wasn't law for me and there were not enough words to express the magnificence and the beauty of the spirit world. You see? So we can only speak on carnal things and imagination that we may have of how the kingdom is going to be. But the greatness of it, the glory of it, we don't know yet until it actually comes. First John 3. Behold what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And every man that hath this hope in him, Purifieth himself even as he is pure. So what we're doing is we're heralding, announcing the coming of the next world, the coming of righteousness, the establishment of a righteous kingdom and the proper people that belong in it. But thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because ye were more in number than any people, for ye were the fewest of all people. But because the Lord loved you, and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers, hath the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand, and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen, from the hand of Pharaoh king of Egypt. Know therefore that the Lord thy God, he is God, the faithful God which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations, and repayeth them that hate him to their face, to destroy them. He will not be slack to him that hateth him. He will repay him to his face. Thou shalt therefore keep the commandments and the statutes and the judgments which I command thee this day to do them. Wherefore it shall come to pass, if he hearken to these judgments, and keep and do them, that the Lord thy God shall keep unto thee the covenant and the mercy which he sware unto thy fathers. And he will love thee and bless thee and multiply thee.